Alrighty, as fun of a little side diversion as that ultimately ended up being, I have a vampire to murder. <laughs> I have a very, I have a very strict goal here, and I'd very much like to accomplish it sometime in the very near future. Having to go and do a very, various other a side quests just to get the chance. Forget about it. Although it's looking like I'm kind of weak right now, should I go back to town? Well, as soon as I can actually at use this stupid menu cro properly, that would be fine and dandy. Uh, do I need any more of that? No, actually, we're doing just fine. Very well. I shall instead settle for using Madison. Like so. And there you go. Good enough! Let's move on. <laughs> Walking all the way back over to town would have taken marginally more time. And we don't got time for that. I do like this this new guy, this this con guy. He's just straight up a vampire hunter, and that's a pretty neat thing for him to be. Okay, thanks for the head explody magic. The explody magic was unnecessary, unappreciated, and so was that random dodge of that attack. Why did you have to do that? Okay, well how about you try and dodge all the sticks? You can't. Do you have any idea how many sticks were were, were, were swinging around? Quite frankly, too many. Thank you and good night. Okay, so now we can finally get this thing done. Well, time to kill a vampire. <laughs> Star Dragon Sword, don't fail this time. Stupid bag of flesh. First, let's go to Necklord's place. I know how to seal off Necklord's power. We're going in, Garland. Yeah, you ain't gotta tell me twice. I'm still bewildered by the fact that he just... Oh, don't he just had his doppelganger skill. All right, so great. If there's anything like the first time I had to go after Necklord, it's going to take me a while to find the damn guy. Because this place is going to be a gigantic honking maze. All right, a fire rune. That's kind of neat. Not really something I'm interested in using right now. I've already got people with fire. I suppose not strictly fire magic, but still. Whole bunch of rubble. Rubble a rubble everywhere. Okay, but I'm also seeing treasure chests every so often, which is more than good enough. Whoop! And now we've got this- these fellows. Hello! Shadow Man! I'd say you're a rejected, uh, robot master from Mega Man, but I'm almost positive that there is a Shadow Man. <laughs> I can't remember literally all of them off the top of my head, but it wouldn't surprise me in the- in the least to learn that there was one, and is one. In fact, Huh, Shadow Man. Was that the ninja? I, th I think that might have just been the ninja. The one that actually has like a frog car for some reason. There'd be much- there'd be a very large amount of rubble all over the dang place, but apparently <laughs> there's- there's not any and just such a perfect, you know, way to give me a clear path to any and all treasure that may or may not be inside this place, which is pretty great. Was that a triple? Oh, baby, a triple! <laughs> I didn't even know that was a thing that could happen. Smack around everybody inside that enemy group. And now it just lets me want. Now it leaves me wondering just how far that can go. Can it. Does it stop at three? Or can it go all the way to six if you have some sort of freakish number generator luck? A stone of magic defense! Very good, very good. Up. Oh, you stop that, you stop that, you stop that right now. It's very annoying. There we go. Raise it. Give it to the garland. Bazambo. There you go. Make him as powerful as possible. Watch this game make it so I can actually remove him from the team at some point. That would be very rather upsetting, actually. Oh, wait. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. Back it up. Back it up. There was an entire door I didn't go down. Is there anything over here? Loot. Treasure of some sort. I'm looking and I'm not seeing anything. And I'm not 100% sure what these objects are. Ominous is what... Ominous is what they are! Can I push that? No, I can't. Okay. This entire section of land was pointless! And then there's the Zambies. Ugh. Why must there be so many of them? Bap, bap. Bap, bap. Of course, they have to be freakishly durable, too. 
And that's just totally something that they needed to be. Not unnecessary and stupid at all. No, no, no. Not even slightly. Alright. Bango, bongo. Chongo, dango. Man, am I glad that Victor does, like, quite frankly, too much damage. Like, too much damage. I don't understand how he can get away with doing so many damage per average hit. That is just silly. Okay, please stop that. I swear to good, once I'm able to buy myself a new controller, I'm going to slam this thing, like, I'm gonna, like, swing it by its cord like a mace, and I'm just gonna slam it onto the ground as hard as I possibly can, smash it into about a thousand pieces. You might think generally veering me to the left in all situations is only slightly annoying. Well, you haven't been dealing with it for as long as I have. And gee, oh, Jiminy Jillikers, I wonder, just how nefarious of a puzzle could this possibly be? Despite the overwhelming odds, I managed to somehow find a way to solve that puzzle. Clearly, my mind is without equal. I am a puzzle solver that is unpeered. <laughs> my goodness. Although my motor skills keep making me run back and forth like an idiot, but you know, other than that. Alright, we've got torches. One torch is not lit, so I'm just gonna go ahead and assume... Yep, alright, master puzzle solver. Except no substitutions, because I am the one and only Alpha! Man, this place is big! Why is this castle so freaking big? Victor, I... What were you doing living in a town full of so much giant castle? That makes no sense. A necklace and chainmail. Huh. Yes, thank you for that. Controller. Um, Like... He's wearing that. Oh. Okay. Then once again. Okay. Once again, I'm going to destroy this micro microphone controller. I am full of flustered. Okay. Seems like he's the only one not wearing that. <clears throat> I apologize. I also have a tickle in my throat that's making me cough, and now I sound funny. <clears throat> Making my eyes water. It's making all sorts of problems happen. Making me look like a fool on the internet. I don't like it. I'm just going around trying to fight a dang vampire. And then literally all of my hardware and my body itself decides to just completely abandon me. It's got no, t it's got no time for none of this nonsense. I don't appreciate any of it. Okay. Now we've just got a bunch of sorcerers. Okay, well, I don't know how much further we're supposed to be going. I'm going to do a little... No, wait, no. A little bit of the Healy Heels. There we go. I'll just try to keep us topped off at any... In the event that the Neck Lord decides to show up at any random period in time. Certainly within the realms of possibility. Also, let's hope that these dudes don't do a ton of damage. Okay, and then they just straight up throw out Kamehamehas. They just straight up throw them around. That is... That is silly. That is a silly thing that they just did. I mean, I get that they're in... They're assuming the position for, for the, you know, turtle destruction wave. But the fact that they straight up actually just performed the move is silly. Oh, well, I guess it was a good idea to heal before I went into this room. <laughs> so, here's a question. This isn't Necklord's castle, it's a place he's just chilling. So, the question I have to ask is, was that pipe organ already there, or did he bring it with him? I've been waiting for you, Victor, Star Dragon Sword, and, eh, is that the Marley boy? I'm so glad you could come. I basically have a Belmont here with me. Between the Star Dragon Sword and the vampire hunting secrets of the Marley family, your time is running out, vampire. That's right, get ready to die! Watanga! Wait, don't be in such a rush, of course, I understand that. But I have my own ideas as well. That's why I summoned you. I have someone that I'd like you to meet. Oh, hey. I'm assuming somebody important. <laughs> so, what do you think? Feeling nostalgic? Her name is Daisy, isn't it? Hmm. More than most likely, not the real article. And even if it is, it's a Zambano. And you don't want to mess with Zambanos. Well, do you give up? <laughs> Just give me the sword. Uh-huh. Victor's not that dumb. 
Don't give him the sword, you fool. Victor, if we lose the Night Rune, we'll never be able to defeat Neck Lord. Nyeh, 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 nyeh. What's wrong with you? Hand that sword over to me. He's not gonna, don't you worry. Star Dragon Sword. Do whatever you like. Not the answer I would have expected from the sword. A lot of years have passed since then. It was so long ago that I could barely even remember her face. Okay, listen to me, bloodsucker. I know that once a person is dead, they're gone forever. Victor here isn't, whoa, isn't stupid enough to be fooled by your little drama. Okay, well, that was cool. Nice sprite work. Let's go, pal. Watch what you call me. Let's go, Garland. We've got to destroy him. Yeah, careful how you talk to me. No, you, well, anyway, we've got bigger things to worry about. So I, I apostrophe, apostrophe, I'm sorry. Wait, farewell. We'll meet again. Damn vampire teleportation. Swear word! Despite the fact that he just earlier said one. Weird. He'll be back, Victor. Oh, but he left whatever the hell this thing is. Okay. What in the fresh hell is this supposed to be? It's like if you shoved a bunch of rejected Muppets into a Hydron Collider. Holy crap. Okay, well, let's bust out all of our bestest moves. Let's see, that should be, yep, okay, that's, I mean, I'm assuming this thing is something of the undead, it l certainly looks undead. Unleash the shredding, unleash the, I guess I don't actually, that's not useful for now, but I do need, I guess we'll just, shining light, and then, um, not what I wanted, repels magic for all allies, so let's use that. I don't know what kind of powers this abomination has, but if it has magic, now it, everyone is anti-magic. So what you gonna do about that, Jack? Probably less than you would prefer. Not bad, not bad, just smack a do, smack a dee. Ooh, that's a neat spell. Oh, and it did a lot of damage too. Acceptable. Okay, I'm really gonna need this thing to not walk ever again, because wow, that is a disturbing animation. Ugh. Watang! Just straight up doing more damage than my most powerful attacks. Oh, damn. Man, don't mess with Khan, he means business. Damn, that was whew, almost 1200 damage in one fell swoop. Ow. Okay, it's looking like this dude don't even got magic. I think he might just be... I think he might just be a horrifying abomination that's used for the purposes of, of, of slamming and jamming and what have you. All right, well, you do that. And I will... Oh, no, I will use the great blessing! The great blessings of the world. Get your heel on, fools! There we go. Now we just smack him around a little until he eventually decides to die. Yar! Yep, that's the sound that creature makes, I've decided. He goes, yarp. All five of his weird heads is like an execute, except it has legs and arms, and that's not cool. It's an abomination is what it is. And it takes forever to do its attack animations because it walks so damn slowly. Yeah, you better, you better descend. All right, fine. Let's see. Because I want to. I'm feeling pretty confident in our abilities to take care of this fool. Behold, secret arcane magics. What you gonna do about this little maneuver? Berserk status ailment! Yeah! Bonus damage! Of course, it didn't end up going on the one dude that it could use it the most, but okay. Ow, ow. Thank you for that. You absolute monstrosity. Yeah! 500! Oh, hello! Why did the anti-magic only work on one of them? 
How does that work? It's a selective shield? How does... That's just absolute bubkus. I be saying all the time, that's bubkus. Not an appreciation. Okay, but seriously, let, let's try and keep Freed living for now. Bango bongo. Watang! There we go. That wasn't so bad. You ain't so tough. And you gave me a big pile of money, so you know what? All's well that ends well. I'll be real, this was a much shorter trip than I would have thought. Crap! He got away! Crap, crap, crap! Yeah. Don't worry, Victor. I'm sure we'll come across him eventually. He's a loose plot thread until otherwise. Anyway, we accomplished our mission and Necklord has fled. We should go back to South Window and give a report. Yeah, I guess you're right. It's just about all we really can do, I suppose. Well then, goodbye for now. I'm gonna follow Necklord. When I find him, I'll send word to you. Okay, thanks. Ah, but you were actually kind of cool. Oh well. Do what you must. More cutscenes. Oh well, that's not good. Eh, eh? What happened? Where is everyone? Are you serious? Ow, my hand! But... Really? 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 I can't leave any town unattended. Even for a second. What did you say? Is it... Is it true what happened to Lord Granmere? Killed by Solingy. Of course. Of course. No. No, it can't be. Lord Granmere. Well, thank your lucky stars and biscuits that you managed to chill out with us this entire time, dude. Holy crap, what is wrong with that psycho? Tell me exactly what happened. Yeah. Just after you left South Window, which is a lie because I left South Window and came back like 50 times during my training and money grabbing, we were attacked by General Saul and G's first company. He must have judged that we didn't have a chance to win. And seeing as how apparently the whole damn place fell, I guess it worked. Lord Granmere surrendered unconditionally without a blow being struck. Oh. The very next morning, the mayor's head was hanging from Castle Gate. Well, that's disturbing. Thank you for that. I was with women and children, so I managed to get away. Ho, ho, ho. Who do you have to thank for getting away? Quiet. Question mark? Everything about that character confuses me. Well, anyway, we got away and came after you. On the way, we met Apple, Sai, and Lenoa. My south window. Highland is afraid of rebellion, so they're arresting former Muse and south window soldiers all over the place. Which means it's only a matter of time before the Highland army comes here. Fun, but... We've got a few people in this abandoned castle. What should we do? Do we have a headquarters now, like the first game? I mean, it's not, it's not, you know, stuck in the middle of a giant wall or anything, but it's still a big old castle. Let's run away! Yeah, I guess, I didn't want to say that, but I, there you go. I guess that's best. But with this many people, we'll attract attention. First, we need to find an escape route. You're right. I guess we'll have to get away either by boat from Cuscus or maybe west to Two River. Okay, Garland, and I will go take a look, okay? If need be, I suppose. What has everybody got to say? Bah, running away again? How did it go, Garland? Uh, I haven't really tried. You're still not saying anything, so that's fun. Garland, are you okay? Don't do anything foolish. Oh, I can actually put people in my team? Well, everyone's here, I guess. That's something, I guess. Ugh. All right, fine. Put you on the team. Where's Hannah? There you are. Get you on the team. It's nice to actually have a choice in the matter of what my team is. It's been like eons since I've been able to have that. And uh, let's see, I have two short ranges. So making sure that I don't accidentally do something Stupid. I'm gonna always go with Squirrel. 
always go with the squirrel. You know, you guys are short ranges, so you guys chill right over there. There you go. Should be fine. Should be dandy. <sighs> Lord Garland. Don't be scared. Bullgun here. Bullgun protect everyone. Lord Garland, be careful. <sighs> what should you do? I don't have the slightest idea. I don't even have the. I don't even know where I'm supposed to be going. Or how the hell to escape this place. Okay, I think I vaguely remember where I am. It seems like almost all of the rubble has been cleared. This controller is the, going to be the death of me. Seems like almost all of the rubble has been moved, so I mean, that's good, I guess. Although I don't know how that managed. Also, where the hell even am I? Okay, we have a... There's a farm over here. Was there an option to just stick around and stay with the castle? Because clearly this place is designed for this sort of thing. Oh my god, how many turns do I have to make before I can find the friggin' front door? Where did these come from? Who's hanging up laundry? This is all very confusing. Okay, so now what the hell do I do? Uh, oops. Apparently be attacked by squirrels. You know, as you do, I guess. Of course they're still fast enough to get away with doing stuff like that. Of course they are. Okay, well, there's only one town I can think to go to, seeing as how everything else is apparently just dead now. And that would be that there's a town, like, way over to the right, so I guess I'll head over there. Although I'm really still genuinely upset that I keep... I never get to actually pick my dialogue choices. Stupid... Everything goes by too fast, and I just hit a button expecting to be able to continue the conversation, but whoop, there's just dialogue prompts. Guess you're going with the first one. It's like the third time it's done something that I think is actually a detriment to what how things are supposed to be going. Very frustrated. I don't even know what to say. I'm just I'm just walking slowly over fighting rabbits as I go because of course. Because of course. Hello. Anybody over here? How it be? How it be everybody? Where'd you guys come from? You're not from Two River, are you? I can tell by looking at you. Hello? Anything going on here? Hey there, mister! Where are you going? The Sluice Gate? Eh, it's east of here, isn't it? I suppose. Oh, the Sluice Gate! Lord Grandmere? That's terrible! What'll happen now? Well, knowing the trend that's been going on, I'm going to assume... In my, my, just, just throwing this out here, I could be entirely wrong, who even knows? It's possible that this place will be destroyed, too. Because, you know, that's just kind of how it is. Also, I'm sorry, I didn't even read what you said. That Richmond is something all right. I guess he really does know everything about... That know everything, after all. Okay, someone named Richmond, apparently. Can I go over here? I can! Hello. Hello there. Uh, pardon me, but who are you? Are you a friend of my husband? I don't know, it's possible. <laughs> I, I don't know. You tell me. Oh, hello, you look suspicious. I'm sorry, I'm busy. Come back later. Okay. <laughs> well, at least he was honest about the whole thing. I'm guessing there's just maybe something around going... Something around town or something? I don't know. Guess we'll just have to take a looky-loo. What's this sound set that I saw on the rare finds here? Something to do with musicians, maybe? Sounds like sound test mode. Welcome, what can I do for you? I think I have something. Oh, wait, no, this is an item store. Great Hawk. Uh, good for bows. Good for absolute. But so basically, it's uh, completely useless to me right now. Cool, cool, cool. I thought this was like a, a an appraiser for some reason. I don't know why. Lord Chu is nice to us too. For a young man, he certainly is polite. Well, that's nice, I guess. 
Do we? Can I meet out? Can I meet a Lord Shoe? My grandson was at the mercenary fort east of here. I wonder what happened to him. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and say he's probably dead. Anybody here? Hello. Please accept the job. What? <laughs> um. Okay. I don't know what that means. Very odd. Anybody else? Anybody else? Anybody else? And oh my God, is that stallion? Nobody will ask. Uh, nobody will take me seriously. I tell you, it was tough running away from the Highland Army like I did. Wow. Of course, I'd meet you again, wouldn't I? All right. I don't know how to get you to help me out, but I'm just assuming it's possible. The mansion to the east is Shoe's place. How did we get so rich? At, how did he get so rich at a young age, anyway? I don't know. Thievery. I heard the Lord Shu used to work with a world-famous military strategist. I knew there was something special about him. I keep hearing about a shoe. Can I actually visit this shoe? Because apparently there's somebody just chilling out. I assume I found his house, but there's somebody by the door saying I need to accept the job. Yes, I will take naps. Thank you. Do not tell me what to do ever again, innkeeper man. Okay, well, I mean, I guess it's kind of nice seeing Sa Sonic the Elf Hog over here. I mean, familiar faces are familiar faces. Let's see. Anybody in here know anything about anything, or... You know, Yoshino from down the street? I heard her husband is a close advisor to Mayor Granier of South Window. Okay. Oh, that's nice. Unfortunately, not anymore, but there you go. Order is fried prawn, boiled snapper, miso soup, rabbit stew. Isn't that stew ready? Uh, it doesn't look like anybody's actually saying anything useful. Sometimes taverns have useful people in them. I'm an old man who just loves to drink sake. Ah, so you're a stereotype. Good for you. Stew air isn't bad. Why don't you try a bowl? I'm not really interested in stew. When's that sake gonna come? I'm getting thirsty here. Oh boy, I'm so busy. Everyone's just drinking and having a good time. Well, I hope they enjoy their, you know, levity before they get murdered by an army. I mean, it doesn't seem like anybody in here has actually got anything to say. Lord Shoe's favorite. He's here all the time. Having a big day today, too. My God. Our food is the best, eh? Oh. Okay, I got a recipe, I guess. For the stew people won't shut up about, I guess. Okay, cool. I suppose. Um... Doesn't really look like anything is happening here. I guess I'm supposed to... I guess if that's not where I'm supposed to go, then... I guess I need to look for a boat in Suskis? Because I don't know anything about no two lake or whatever. Unless I've been to one and I don't even remember. Or whatever it was called. I don't know, I wasn't... Mmm, so many town names. I don't appreciate it. No, sir, not one bit. I make it... Ugh. All right, don't mind me, don't mind me. Slowly, slowly, walking all the way over here. Hoping for the best before things go bad. Bam, bam. Thank you, ma'am. And that's how you take care of a bunch of no-good squirrel peoples. Not you, Ruby, the flying electric squirrel. You're a good one. You randomly joined me for no reason, and now you're my friend. And I have to sneeze! <laughs> okay. Hardly the most manly of sneezes, but what are you gonna do? Lately, some nasty scoundrels who only attack girls have been showing up. That is unfortunate. Oh, actually, I could probably, theoretically... Maybe, uh, Taiho, Yonku, something similar to that. Maybe they're still around. Then again, I don't think their boat's big enough, but, uh, eh. Since we're here, might as well sharpen things up. There we go. I'll just head back the direction I came from, I suppose. Not a lot of other options available to me right now. Hello. That Grand Mare was a weak is a weakling. He's the reason we're in this mess. Well, he's dead now, so maybe stop talking so much smack. If I can find out where that. Uh, actually, I think it was another screen over. Oy. 
These towns are blending together in my brainscape. Let's see. Doesn't seem... This town is under Highland rule. Outsiders aren't welcome. Okay. Hey, did you hear about the monster living in North Window, north e west of here? I wonder if it's true. You mean the vampire? Because, yeah, I, I, I definitely thought that. Well, I didn't fight him, but, you know. And it doesn't seem anybody got the news. I don't want any of those Highland pukes messing with the boat. What if I mess with the boat? Ah, yes, boat. Conveniently labeled as such. Oh, boy. Okay, so... This is interesting. I don't seem to have any idea of what to do. Hmm? Now, you old man Gmos. Nay. Um... I think I've only- I think I've gone to the places that I was told to go to and nothing really happened. Did I miss something? Or maybe I'm supposed to go and look around, find that there's no real solutions, go back, then something happens? Maybe I was supposed to leave this place, come back to discover that it and everyone inside of it is dead now? Okay, well, this place is labeled headquarters. Whose houses are these? What? Hello. Templeton, apparently. Huh? You want to see the map? I don't know. I guess I'll have to spread it out for you. Interesting. Okay. So where is this? Two Lake. Lake West. Two. Oh, Two River. Okay. Cobalt Village. Cave of the Wind. Another. Th I don't know how to get over there. Looks like you need a boat. And I ain't got none of those. A quiet fishing town. Sometimes I think it might be the perfect kind of place to settle down. Okay, well, seeing as how literally everyone I've picked up up, up to this point is, I guess, just chilling here. Anyone else in here? No? Oh, okay, interesting. I guess Templeton just randomly decided this is mine. Clearly this is our... I mean, it's labeled as headquarters, so... I don't think we're actually meant to leave this place. <laughs> Pretty sure this is where we're supposed to, like, make our grand stand and whatnot. Build up that army thingy that's going on. That's, so you know, so popular with the kids these days. Surely. Yeah. So, I was unable to find literally anything. Oh, okay, well, something is happening now. That's good. I see. So, there's no escape route, eh? Doesn't seem so. Oh, okay, there we go. There must be a way. I get another chance now. But Garland. But can we stop the whole Highland army? Eh. Uh. What's wrong with all of you? Is running away all that you can think of? I mean, to be fair, I unintentionally gave them uh, that plan. Garland's right. There must be a way. There must be. But to fight a war we have no chance of winning is stupid. You're stupid. We do have a chance. How so? What do you mean, Apple? For a small force to defeat a larger force, strategy is needed. With the right strategy, we have a chance to win. Yeah, and have you figured out this strategy? No, I'm not up to the task. I've learned that the hard way. But I know someone who is. And right at town, there's a man named Shu. Oh, 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 so now we get to, okay, sure. So basically what it looks like, I just might have wasted my time. I think I could have cut out the middleman and just went to this point. Okay, fun, good job, me. He and I were both students under Master Matthew. Matthew expelled him, but he's brilliant. A first-class strategist. If we can get him to join us, I'm sure he'll be able to think up a winning strategy. I guess you're right. Can't keep running to the edge of the world. And I'm kind of tired of seeing towns I go visit getting destroyed, so I'm cool with making a stand. Okay, let's do our best. Flick, you and me should gather all the troops we can find. The South Window soldiers should still be around somewhere. As far as this shoe guy goes, I'll leave it up to you, Garland. Do your best to get him. Oh joy, I get to do more things. This is important, Garland. Raddit Town is east of South Window. I'll go along with you. Don't worry about Pilka. I'll watch after her. Thanks, Lenoa. Okay, let's go, Garland. Hey, 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 Apple. Is this shoe person handsome? Yeah, I don't know anything about that. Hey, I'm counting on you. Apple joins the convoy! Wait, do I not have the rest of my... My, my, okay, of course. Alright, well, there is actually one thing I wanted to, I, I kind of wanted to do this, so it's fine. 
Um, if I'm going back to that town, actually, I would like to bring Freed. I'm curious about a thing. Anyway, get Ellie and the, up, all, all up in here. Get Hannah all up in here. And then get Anita all up in here. And boom, shaka boom. There you go. Short range. Short range. Oh, wait. Short range. There we go. Three short range. Oh, hang on. There we go. It's only fair. Okay, it's going to take me a second to get back over to that town. So I'll I'll just jump cut my way over there. Bazambo. Bazambo. 